Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to uh, University of Detroit Mercy's McNichols campus. I want to thank all the media and also alumni and friends who are attending in person this morning, as well as the many alumni and friends, as PJ said, who are watching worldwide on ESPN+. I also want to thank some of our current and former Board of Trustees members who are here, uh, as well as those who are watching uh, online as well today. And a special thanks uh, to our board chair, uh, Mike McNamara, who has spent a considerable amount of time working on, our, on this uh, head coaching search and also with our athletic director, Robert Viles. Earlier in the week, I was in Chicago with a large group of alumni who graduated as far back as 1953 and as recent as 2016. And it was a pleasure to tell them about the positive initiatives that are underway at the university, such as our th three out of the last four, soon to be four consecutive years of first year enrollment, our high retention and graduation rates, our new tuition reset, and our vigorous drive to achieve our $100 million goal uh, towards our campaign and we are already at $87 million and still counting. And most importantly, the landscape changing redevelopment here in our neighborhood with Live Six Alliance, the work of our Detroit Collaborative Design Center, and also our partnerships with the City of Detroit and the Kresge Foundation and the Knight Foundations. We are obviously very enthusiastic about the direction of the university, this neighborhood, and also the city. And today's announcement of our new men's basketball coach, Mike Davis, gives us even more optimism uh, here at the university and also to the future of the university. Coach Davis has demonstra demonstrated over his 23-year career that he wins on the basketball court. But because academic excellence is really one of our strongest academic pillars here, it is also an extremely important part of our 141-year-old Jesuit and Mercy institution. And I'm pleased that he has also shown that his players excel in the classroom. At his previous school, for example, his team earned a GPA of 3.0, as well as four consecutive semesters of a perfect 1,000 academic progress rate. And 18 out of 20 players that he had over his last six years graduated. That is extremely important, and I know he will bring the same type of excellence here at the university. I want to invite Robert Vowles, our Director of Athletics for the last five years, to the podium. But before I do that, I want to thank him and also the members of the search committee uh, that, that uh, spent a lot of hours on this particular search. They included faculty members, they included administrators, and they also included trustees. They spent thousands of hours working uh, on the extensive search, reviewing applications of more than 100 candidates for this position, and also interviewing the finalists. And I want to thank them especially for their very diligent work. Robert Viles oversees our 19 Division I men's and women's athletic programs. He came to the University of Detroit Mercy uh, five years ago, after seven years as the NCA's Vice President for Student Athlete Wellbeing. He's also been the commissioner of two of, our, of the nation's athletic conferences, and he was also a student athlete in football at Duke University. Robert also holds a law degree from North Carolina Central uh, University School of Law. His extensive legal and athletic expertise have, as well as his experiences, have really strengthened our Division I athletic programs, and I know that he and Coach Davis will elevate the reputation of our programs even further. Ladies